It's a delight to be back in your nation. I do all the Australian things. I go to AFL, but because I don't really have a team, I generally just pick the team who's playing with the mascot that would win if there was a fight, you know? <laughs> so if it's like the tigers against the kangaroos, you're like, well, a tiger would destroy a kangaroo. But then if it's the bombers against the tigers, you're like, well, the bombers would just carpet bomb the tiger's habitat and force them to extinction, you know? Where it gets a bit tricky is I went to one match and it was the Dockers against the Blues. <laughs> you know, people who work down the wharf are notoriously tough, but depression can defeat anyone. <laughs> Seeing as I am here on the TV, uh, this is a tribute song to my favorite television program of all. This song is called Grand Designs. <laughs> your life. We throw a few hay bales in it. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> now it looks like we live in an office in a field. And no one ever comes to visit us out here in the middle of nowhere anymore. There's a reason the land was so cheap. <laughs> There's one. It's like the most westerly part of Ireland. Like it's 30 miles from the nearest town. And it's a church that was hit by lightning in 1900. So it's a pile of rocks and some graves. And Kevin's like, how much was? And they're like, sheep is like 150 grand. And you're like, that is not cheap. <laughs> the lives that you are committing yourselves and your children to. Grand to his eyes, grand to his eyes. <laughs> Kevin didn't even like it in the end. <laughs> He says it takes all sorts to make a world and it's good that we're not the same, i.e. your house looks like a suburban Costco. <laughs> we all stayed together for an extra six months so we could come to film his wrap-up. I think the only thing we really learned is that the deeper problem wasn't with the house, it was with the relationship. 